Calcium reactors are being made more affordable, and not just for bigger reef systems, but for all tank sizes, including nano reefs. Aquamax's line of C-Tech calcium reactors can get you into a calcium reactor for less while still offering great features like a powerful and reliable CJ pump, a removable bubble counter and inline pre-filter, low profile CNC channels instead of bulky pipes, push connectors all around, PVC unions and elbows, and a heavy duty pinch valve, Basically everything you need in a solid reactor, but without forcing you to dig deep into your pockets. Plus, not only do they have sizes for large systems, but also for smaller nano systems, so that all of us nano reefers can get in on the action. When you open up the box, you'll find the reactor, the bubble counter and filter assembly, the pump, a dosing line and clip, and a solid set of full color instruction cards. The SeaTac reactors are available in four sizes, the 4.3 inch diameter C1, the 6 inch diameter C2, the 8 inch diameter C3, and the 3.2 inch diameter nano hang-on reactor. They are rated for aquariums up to 300 gallons, 500 gallons, 1000 gallons, and 75 gallons respectively. The reactor is very easy to assemble and comes mostly completed. All you need to do is attach the bracket that holds the bubble counter and pre-filter by raising one of the thumb screws, slipping it over the keyhole in the bracket, and then tightening it back down. Then you can attach the pump to the unions and connect the dosing line to the push fitting on the top of the reactor. Easy peasy. Yes, there is going to be more setup before you'll be able to use it, but Aquamax includes a pair of large instruction cards filled with color photos and diagrams to walk you through the complete setup. Like I was mentioning earlier, these reactors still carry a bunch of useful features despite having a more budget-friendly price tag. This includes the bubble counter for visually tracking the volume of CO2, a serviceable inline pre-filter for keeping out debris that could clog up the media, a robust pinch valve for regulating the flow of the water into the reactor, which in turn regulates the dosing rate, a workhorse Seche Synchro pump inside of a baffle enclosure for minimizing noise, and a thick acrylic lid with integrated CNC machine channels that replace the bulky PVC pipes found on most other calcium reactors, keeping things trimmed down and compact. Instead of sponges, this reactor uses a blue acrylic diffuser plate filled with small pinholes for the media to rest on, as well as a kidney bean shaped plate at the top where the water exits. Both are removable and serviceable, which is fantastic and makes it easy to keep things clean. To access the inside of the reactor and to maintain the media, you've got a series of thumb screws that need to be loosened just enough to allow the lid to turn so you can line up the keyholes and lift it off. While I'm sure most of you know thumb screws aren't usually my favorite option, these do turn very easily and they certainly get the job done. And considering that this is one of the most affordable budget calcium reactors out there, I'm pretty satisfied with their use of thumb screws here. With the lid off, you can then add the media to the reactor, then close it back up and tighten things down again. You'll notice that there are two push connectors with no tubing attached, and that's where you're gonna need some extra quarter inch RO tubing to go between the feed pump and the reactor, as well as the CO2 regulator and the reactor. If this is your first rodeo with a calcium reactor, there are a few other pieces of equipment you're gonna to wanna to pick up to get it running on easy mode. Firstly, you're gonna to wanna to pick up a CO2 tank somewhere between five and 10 pounds if you want it to be small enough to fit in your stand while still having enough volume to last for months. You're also gonna want a reliable CO2 regulator and solenoid valve like the carbon doser, which makes dialing in that precise bubble count easy as pie. You'll also wanna pick up a pH controller or a spare pH probe for your external aquarium controller so that you can peg the pH inside of the reactor for a consistent effluent DKH. You'll also want a continuous duty dosing pump like the Camor FX STP to make dialing in the dose to your tank a super simple process that is ultra consistent. And of course, you're gonna want a high quality phosphate free reactor media such as Triton Labs or KZ's offerings. Then you'll be off to the races. Provided you actually have a calcium reactor, which you can pick one up for yourself by clicking right here.